Hi, I'm Billy, one of the Fuji guys, here to show you the unboxing of the FinePix XP150 camera. This is a shockproof, waterproof camera that offers a GPS capabilities with improved water and shockproofness up to 10 meters in terms of waterproof, means you can take it underwater as well as shockproof up to 2 meters or 6.6 .6 feet. Uh, it's fully sealed of a camera and I have the, the silver one here with me. Depending on the region that you live in, they may come in different colors. Uh, and also um, the different variations. There's also an XP170 that offers Wi-Fi and an XP100 that has no GPS or Wi-Fi whatsoever. So, but basically the unboxing and functionalities are identical. So let's take a quick look. First thing you're going to see, of course, is the warranty information. It's telling you there's a software CD in the cam that's included. Uh, the software CD has the full owner's manual in PDF form in multitudes of languages. The quick start guide that's included comes in various languages here, as you can see, and it really shows you some of the basic operations, how to get the camera started for the very first time. Um, trying to get the camera out here, I have, of course, the brand new XP150 in the silver. Uh, like I said, again, it comes in different colors. So I'm going to open that up for you to see. And of course, the first thing is the screen is also protected by a little cover that you can actually peel off as well, which I'm going to try to do here. A little tough. There we go. Perfect. A nice brand new screen. Very, very clean looking. Uh, very nice stylish camera. It looks a lot more tougher than last year's model, of course, and it's also tougher than the XP50 as well. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the other contents of this camera. It does come with a, a wall charger, as you can see here. So I'm taken out of the bag. Um, depending on the country that you live in, it's going to come with a different prong adapter. It's also included. Let's take a look at the batteries. The batteries included on this camera is the NP50 um, battery. It's not the same battery that's used on last year's XP2030 models. Um, so it provides for a little bit higher capacity, as you can see right here. Um, charging is pretty simple. You want to charge for at least four hours, and you basically match the indications right there to tell you how to put it in to the charger. It also comes, like I said, with the plug adapter. The plug adapter, depending on your country, uh, will be slightly different. Uh, in the North American market, of course, it comes in like that. It slides into place and clips in, and now you can actually plug it to, of course, the North American outlets, which supports that type of uh, plug. Uh, again, like I said, depending on a different country, you have a different plug. Charge that for at least four hours, like I said. You have the included USB cables on the camera. Uh, it allows you to download images um, and videos to the computers. I always recommend you, you know, you can also use a, a card reader if you wanted to as well. There's a standard USB port connection that goes to the computer, and that one goes to the camera. On the camera itself, in order to access the ports, you have to open the door, so you want to slide the, the latch one and two and that opens up the latch for you. And this is where you'll find the USB port as well as the HDMI port. And you can connect that like that in order to download the, uh, the images. Now, let's get the camera started. Before that, I noticed there's one last item that's included, and that's basically the uh, little strap. And uh, if I want to take that apart for you to see. Um, and this strap protects it, obviously. You know, even, th even though this camera is a shockproof, waterproof camera, you do want to take some good care with the camera regardless. You strap it through this little metal uh, piece right here and string it through this way. And that will allow you to actually protect the, uh, the camera when you, when you carry it around your wrist. Now the camera is also waterproof, but it doesn't float. So we highly recommend you pick up the optional float strap that's included that you can purchase sorry, for the XP series of cameras that prevent it from sinking to the bottom of the lake or the pool or the ocean. Um, you got a little plastic end at the, right here where you can actually slide up and down, and that's basically for your wrist. So if you notice there, I can stick my wrist in and slide that up, and it helps it lock it in place. Okay, so let's get the camera started for the very first time. You want to match the batteries with the, the indications inside. It's telling me to put the contacts, obviously, in this direction right here. And if you put the batteries in and it goes in and the camera doesn't power up, make sure you've charged the batteries and also that the batteries are correctly inserted. Now, saying that, of course, when you buy any digital camera, 
Uh, you do have to pick up a memory card as well. It's not included. Uh, because this camera offers HD video, full HD videos, I highly recommend you pick up at least a class six uh, SD rated SD card or higher. And if we talk about capacities, I would recommend at least an eight gigabyte card, although you can get away with two and four gig cards if all you wanna do is to take uh, uh, pictures. Um, so and to insert the memory card again, you can just follow the, the little diagram that's showing you. Again, if you put it in the incorrect direction, it's not gonna go in, so don't try to force it, okay? Now you wanna close it, and because there's a two latch system, you wanna close one and two. And that means it's fully sealed now, you can take this underwater. Turning it on is pretty simple. You can hold the playback button for a few seconds. If you wanna bring it right to the playback mode, or you can just push the, push the on and off switch there on the top to turn the camera on. So there we have it. If it's the first time you've actually turned the camera on, it's gonna ask you for a few things like the language, as well as the year, date, uh, and time. And if you accidentally push OK on that, you can go back into the setup menu later to adjust the date and time. A screen also comes up telling you how to properly close that latch so that you don't you know, get water inside the camera. I understand how to do that, push, push back. Charge the batteries up, otherwise you can get that little bad, dead battery symbol. So I'm gonna try to quickly do a demo to take a photo. You push the button halfway down and all the way to take the picture. The zoom control is on the top. It's a five time optical zoom camera. I can zoom in, push halfway down, push all the way down to take the picture. Uh, if I wanted to do video, it's pretty simple. There's a built-in video button right here. I push the record button and it starts recording video for me. Uh, full HD video, of course. I can push stop to stop the video. Again, great op a great option if I'm swimming underwater and I don't have to go into the menu to record videos. I can just instantly do that. Push the playback button to actually review some of your images. You can push down to playback videos on the camera. Let me, and there's a built-in microphone so you can hear that. Okay, push left or right to actually jump between the different images as you can see right here. If I wanted to delete an image or a video, I can push up and I can select that, that particular image or I can select multiple images. I'm just gonna select that one image, push OK again and delete that image out of the camera. Uh, again, that's just a quick getting started video and unboxing of the brand new XP150. Like I said, if you bought the XP100 or 170 or any other variations to this model, pretty much the, the same contents will be found uh, with this camera as well. So until then, I'm Billy, one of the Fuji guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the Fuji guys videos as well as to follow me uh, at, at Fuji guys for Twitter so I can help you answer any questions you have. Until then, uh, thanks for watching uh, my videos. Thank you.